Hello everyone and welcome to another video. My name is Gareth from Car Tours here in Taunton, Somerset. Today we're going to be looking at um, the Fiat 500 I've currently got in stock. This is a Fiat 500 Sport 16 valve 1.4 petrol manual. Um, we're going to be looking at the exterior of the car, we're going to be looking at the interior of the car, we're also going to be taking it for a test drive um, to give you the, the visuals on how the vehicle is to drive. The purpose of these videos is to act as a guide if you're looking at purchasing this car or any other cars in the marketplace that's available now. Um, if you'd like to find out more, you can do go onto the website, which is cardoors.com. You can find us on Instagram, car underscore doors, and at cardoors on Facebook. Uh, right, enough of that. Let's uh, start by taking a look around the exterior of the car. Right, the uh, sun's starting to pour through, so which is pull through, pull through, pull through, which is absolutely mega. It's just had a little bit of a rain, rain shower. Um, right, let's look at some of the imperfections on the bodywork of this vehicle, 2008 model. You can expect some general wear and tear. So if we take a look at the uh, um, the near side rear alloy, um, this one is in good order uh, with only a, a minor little bit here. And then we come down the door panel and we have a look here at the bottom of the the um, sill there and the jacking points up towards the door. Everything on inspection seems to be in good order. Then we come down to your near side front alloy wheel and we've got some wear along the corners here and along here. Come along the, to the front bumper corner, near side front. Everything is nice and lovely there. Come around to the front of the front bumper, give you that Fiat 500, that unique look, the retro styling, which is mega. You're all pretty aware of this. Um, this, there's a little bit of sun cracking in the, here on the paint, but nothing to, to deter too much. And we've got on the offside front, the driver's side, we've got a little, little mark here, a little thing there. Uh, coming down to the driver's side, offside front, Alloy wheel, again, a couple of markings around the, uh, that actually wasn't very good pointing, but I'm sure you can see around the wheel edge there. This car sits on 195-45-16 um, tyres, um, so, and they're all in really, really good order, which is pleased to see. And then if we come down the, the bottom here, there's a little mark here um, on the jacking point there. Then we come up, everything is absolutely lovely. And then if we have a look at the offside rear uh, alloy wheel, um, again, in good order. Oh, I'm getting a bit of a dry mouth. Um, let's go around to the back, shall we? Right, so the rear bumper, there is a little bit of a little scratch here. Uh, come round to the back of the bumper. Every look scene looks okay and lovely there. Going up to the rear bonnet, rear bonnet, rear boot lid, that's all tickety boo. And then up to the glass, onto the spoiler, you can see everything is nice there. I did just spot something which I neglected to mention. There is a couple of light indent scratches there. And did I see somewhere down the you can't make it out on camera but there is almost like a tiny little pin dent here but for 60,000 miles a town car um, a county car it's um, absolutely in wonderful order by the general wear and tear that I've just pointed out now this vehicle here if we can uh, if I just give you an update this vehicle here has had all the advisories rectified from the previous MOT um, so we've got new, um, there's new distant pads, for example, on the front of this vehicle, um, just to give you, because it was an advisory on the last MOT, which is really good news. Right, I think it's a really good idea now. Let's take a look at the interior. Right, let's start with the boot space. So I've got some camera equipment in here, but this is a 185 litre uh, rear cargo area and the seat folds forward to create more space, which takes you back to the, which will actually add quite a bit of space if you need to load some more uh, more goods around. If I can come, the carpet's in good order here throughout. I mean, if I move this in, in fact, the carpet's in better order than my case there. <laughs> and then we come up and underneath, we've got a space saver spare wheel and all the tires, but there's no damage down here. 
um, I can't actually get you a better angle, but everything is in good order. Right, let's have a look at the interior. Fiat 500, you'll notice it's got the Fiat 500 foot plates on the bottom of the door sill there. And if we come up here to get into the rear, slide this forward and then the seat holds. Straight off the bat, we've got half leather or leatherette and fabric contrasting interior and rear headrest as well. These seats are barely used with very, very little wear. If I can get up here, can I zoom out anymore? Do, 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 do. We've got speakers in the back and armrests in the back, which is great. Really opens the space. We've got two rear cup holders here and your pockets at the back there. Pop these back, slide to here. Oh, shall we check if it's got the Isofix? Because I've just seen them. Have a look. One, two, three, four. So we've got four Isofix anchor points here, which is great if you're carrying it carriaging young people about um and then what else let's have a look airbags but if we just look at the general condition of the leather interior or half leather et interior is in good order perforated on the sides and the same with the driver in the front if we start at the base we've got usb input for the windows blue and me um connectivity now please factor in bearing in mind that is a 2008 tech so it might not be compatible with some of the latest phones with the upgrades in uh, technology and operating systems. That said, I've got an iPhone 12 Pro Max and that is connected via Bluetooth here in the system, which I'll show you in a minute, and enables you to talk. So that's brilliant. So that works. I've just put the disclaimer in because I obviously can't test every single phone. Um, elect, we've, got, we've got the six speed manual gearbox in the center. We've got the electric windows here, your auxiliary heating, push this in for your air conditioning. Um, fog lights, hazards, stereo system, um, with MP3 playback. Most people just stream now, right? I haven't tested the streaming facility out, but one would presume, I, I will double check it because I what might not be the case, but one would presume that it'll accept streaming back through the Bluetooth connectivity. Um, over the back, we've got a nice little cubby hole here for your glove box area and the speak and the side door cards are in really good order. So, cause these tend to crack and everything like that. And the same here, a little bit of wear on the back of the, uh, back of the gear knob there. Oh, one thing to mention, the driver's side has height adjustable seat, which is great order. And I put the coffee cup there to demonstrate two further cup holders. And you've got a cigarette lighter. I don't know if I spotted it. Probably best used for auxiliary power. Let's go around to the driver's side. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Again, we've got the kick plate here and we've got a couple of marks down the door sill here and here. Traditionally, guys, you probably looked at 10 year old cars before. This is what happens. And then people shut the door and it leaves the marks it's just one of those things and uh, not, not much but it, it's not too it's not too concerning or disheartening again great perforated lever on the on the door card and we've got electric wing mirrors here so here's your steering wheel and steering column and so what we've got we've got trip computer on the end here you've got your windscreen wipers here and your washers pulling towards you you've got your indicators on the left and you've got your um, done indicators are on the left, as well as your lights. It's just a case of turning that towards the dash and away from the dash. Your steering wheel, audio controls, you've got your phone controls on the right. So when you set up your pairing, that is done through the center console here. This is an LCD screen and the audio controls here, which is for your stereo system on the left hand side, which I showed you all along. There's also a rem reminder, a great little cubby hole here, a loose change. And this fits a wallet perfectly inside and it doesn't fall out. It's brilliant. Right, I think over and above, there's not much really to show you show you today. And you've obviously got the mod model designation here. So why don't we take it out for a drive and show you what she's like out on the road.
have a variation in speed limits and roads that I'm going to demonstrate. The, Fiat, the Fiat, little Fiat on, this car makes you so happy. It's just so, puts a smile on your face. The, let's start by sort of 40 miles an hour, four speed, fifth, six, I think it went to reverse there, that would have been a bit, a bit embarrassing. And um, yeah, so we've got a six-speed manual gearbox, easy to navigate, easy to use, clutch is light, bites are halfway up the clutch pedal, absolutely yeah, everything is shooting. Turning circles like, let's see what the turning circles like. Right hand down, lock, oh, it's a little bit better than I thought it would be. Usually you find with the alloy wheels on the Fiat 500s and other models and cars, they decrease the actual, because the tire is wider, they do, and your surface area is uh, wider, your compact, contact zone, you find that the turning circle gets compromised. But uh, this is not the case in, with the Fiat 500, really good turning circle. You'll also notice there is no clunking from the steering as I was going round. There's no da 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 from any of the um, uh, anti-roll bar, anti bars or the uh, bushes, um, which is all really good news, really good news. Let's try reverse. It goes backwards. Good news. <laughs> Okay, right, let's go on to a little bit of a different speed limit now. So we're gonna hit a 60 mile an hour speed limit. Let's uh, put the Sport on. As I mentioned a minute ago, or two ago, the Sport doesn't actually alter the performance, but it tightens the steering. Let's make sure that's worked properly. And it does. National speed limit here, let's give it three and a half, four and a half. 5,000. Oh my god, I feel like I'm doing 100 miles an hour. I'm not. I was doing 50. <laughs> it's a great little car. Great little car. Fabulous. Yeah, the uh, the peak of the actual 100 horsepower comes in at between 4 and, and 5,000 RPM. And we're in Somerset, so it wouldn't be Somerset without a tractor. Cheers, buddy. Oh. Okay, as for the steering, it has weighted up and it's direct, it's like a little go-kart, it just points, you just want to, yeah, fabulous, absolutely fabulous. Braking is consistent throughout, mega. Now this is a lovely place to spend your time. I mean, it's not surprising it's, uh, it gives you the impression of being nippy. The Fiat 500, even though it's technically not, even the Fiat 500 weighs, what, uh, just under a ton, so it's like 980 kilos, which probably means it weighs just over a ton, because the Italians are very uh, uh, <laughs> optimistic with their weights. But nonetheless, a ton, 1.4, 100 horsepower, fabulous. And then we come in here, brake, into reverse. Yeah, 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 fantastic. Car hasn't got parking sensors. I said the car does not have parking sensors. It was an optional upgrade, but need not worry because the back window is just there. <laughs> so you know exactly where, you, where your, your back end is. Okay, fabulous. This car, when it was new, this is a sport model. So, when you're, when it, in 2008, you had the pop, you had the lounge, in there, and you had the sport. So, you got uh, a nicer place to be, a nicer cabin, half leather interior. You got the Bluetooth technology, trip computer, uh, some other bits and bobs um, over and above. Um, what it meant was, in 2008, the Pop edition, the entry level model of the Fiat 500, believe it or not, brand spankers was just under £10,000, like nine, nine, 9,900 odd quid. Um, I know, right? Buying a brand new car for 10 grand, how times have changed. But 
this model was circa 11,000, so you, you spent 11 and a half by the time you probably painted it. Um, so you've got, and with the alloy wheels on this model as well, pops only come with uh, standard steelies. So for your extra 1,500 pounds, these are benefits, multifunctional steering wheel, that is well worth it. That's not the bottom of the range, um, which is almost really cool, really, really cool. And this model is a real place, to, a really nice place to be. It's a really lovely little car. Right, as I come back into town now in the natural habitat, well, all of the Fiat 500, I say that, don't know why I said that. It's natural habitat, it's anywhere really, isn't it? <laughs> it's a little Fiat 500. Um, let's have a review of what we've done. Um, we've had a look at the exterior of the vehicle, we've had a look at the interior of the vehicle, um, we've gone through all the functionality and features of this car. I haven't played you the stereo, I can't do that because I keep getting told off by YouTube. I keep getting copy, copyright when I'm just trying to demonstrate whether or not the video, the, the music system works, but have faith, it does. Um, yeah, we've been for a drive, different, different perspective, point of view um, from the passenger seat, um, and we've gone through the service history. Um, so just to recap, this is a 2008 1.4 16 valve Fiat 500 Sport. It's done 60,000 miles, has MOT till March next year. It's had cam belt, water pump, and clutch replaced um, within the last 10,000 miles, which is fantastic news. It means those big bills are not going to be landing on your doorstep, doorstep anytime soon. Um, as long as one obviously cares for the vehicle, keeps up, uh, and does service at least once every 10,000 miles, oil changes, but we went through it earlier. Costs on this car for parts and replacement bits and bobs and the labour time is really, really low, which is really great news. Um, the car's £180 a year to tax. It's available for immediate delivery. Um, or come down and have a look and, have, and take it for a drive yourself and see what you think. Um, thanks for watching. If you'd like to, if you like the video, please like it, thumbs up, and please subscribe. And there'll be there's some more more videos around the corner. Thanks, everyone. Cheerio.